Hola, como estas? My name is John Manalo, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna be soul swapping this pair of Air Jordan 1s. Now I got these nice, beautiful orange soles, black and white, or orange and white, sorry. Yeah, something short, sweet, to the point. If you guys just wanna see me work on shoesies and um, my handsome face, then I'll bring the content to you guys. So yeah. Anyways, accepting as it is to throw in some mud and some bugs, just to get that easy bag, cause it's such a clickbait ass video. Nah, it's not worth it. All right, let's do it. Hey, what's up you guys? It's John Manalo, and I'm gonna be turning these Shatter Backboard Tress.0 into the Tress.5s. So this isn't the first time anyone has done this, um, but I wanted to show you guys how you guys can do it if you guys decide to do it. Now this method won't work for all Jordan 1s. It depends on the material that is on the shoe so to replace these jordan 1 soles i'm going to be using a low top version of the shattered backboard since i think that's the only one with the orange sole so far so whenever i sole swap jordan 1s dunks or air force 1s I like to cut the interior thread first and then I pluck the exterior thread out so then it'll come out easy peasy lemon squeezy. But in order for me to do this, I have to cut the toe box so then I can access the toe cap to cut the thread. If you guys want to keep your donors fresh, then I suggest not to do this. So with my X-Acto knife, I make a slit on every black thread from the inside so then I could just pull out the white thread. By doing this step, I probably save like half the time in removing the donors. Now, if you guys have an oven, I actually put the whole shoe in the oven at 220 degrees for about 10, 10 minutes just to warm up the glue. So as we're waiting, we're going to prep the Shatter Backboard 3.0s by removing the thread first and then put the whole shoe in the oven. So this method does take a long time only because I don't want to cut the toe box in order for me to cut the thread. So this is more of a conventional way of removing the thread off of your midsoles. So before I put them in the oven, I am going to put in a little bit of acetone inside of the soles to soak up the glue. So before we put them in the oven, It'll do its magic and melt the glue and eat up the adhesive. Um, and then putting them in the oven will just accelerate the process. So at this point, we're gonna switch out the soles. So while the shattered backboards are in the oven, we're gonna try to separate the donors by pouring in acetone while the shoes are still hot. Now I'm making slits within an X-Acto knife just so when we tear apart the midsole from the upper, the midsoles don't get caught up and tear with the uppers. So this is kind of like a bridge. about maybe 10, 15 minutes in the oven, I take out the shattered backboards. So there's already acetone inside of the shoes at this point. So now I'm just pressing down on the edges and it'll just loosen up on its own. If there's any troubled areas where it's not separating, I use a syringe to, to put an acetone in that specific spot just so it'll loosen up. My bad it's not focusing where I want it to. I accidentally dropped my my lens. It's a 50 mil 1.2 f-stop, so that is not something you can just buy again right away. Um, but I do have another lens on the way, just a nifty 50, just a cheaper version, so hopefully it'll be better. All right, to continue our prep work, we're gonna clean up the donors by using a Dremel tool, and I'm using a sandpaper bit to remove 
the the bits and pieces of the old leather and the factory glue this is just to make sure that our adhesive and and our bond will be strong So we're gonna do the same thing on the upper material too. And you can see that I've already done the left shoe. You can see that it's more raw. There's no factory glue anymore. So that's what you're looking for when you do a sole swap. You wanna remove everything bare so the glue would stick perfectly. And it gets a little dusty when you use a Dremel tool. So we're just gonna knock the dress off that pair of shoes. So this is the bread and butter right here for any re-glue work. You wanna make sure that you use acetone and combos to clean off the surfaces so our bond will be So after letting the adhesive sit for about 30 minutes to an hour, I will be heating it up with the heat gun and then bonding them together. So the last and final step is to restitch the midsole with a sew and all. If you guys want a tutorial on this, I will be recording a video very soon and I'll be including it in the top right corner of this video. That's it, just a quick, simple video. If you guys wanna support me and wanna learn from me directly as a mentor, you can head over to my Patreon page where you can pay $20 a month 
and I'll guide you with whatever you guys need. I'll also start putting videos like this that are more in depth. So if you guys need more assistance, I can help you guys out there too. All right, you guys, much love from the Bay Area. If you guys enjoy these types of videos, be sure to subscribe. And yeah, God bless. Yay!